Well, sadly, my mum's singer sewing machine was irreparable. The motor had burnt out and it wasn't possible to get a new one. So I've purchased a new singer sewing machine called the Singer Starlet. It's model 6680. I ordered it online in the Singer Sale, which gave me quite a considerable amount of money off it. And it's been delivered within 36 to 48 hours. It's actually lighter weight than I expected. So let's open it and see what it looks like and see what it does, shall we? I bought the model that has an extension table and there's a number of manuals within the box. Well, that was easy. It was very well packaged. It didn't come with excessive packaging either. These are all the additional feet and tools. And I think I need two hands to lift this out of the box. It comes with its own keep clean cover which has an opening at the top. The handle is integral in this machine and is quite sturdy. Uh, this is a very thin, it feels like a polyurethane, but uh, if nothing else, it gives me a template to create my own cover for this machine. I think that might be one of the first things I do. I have a long tradition with the Singer sewing machine and I, research this this is the 2023 model heavy duty machine called a singer startlet and it will sew anything from silk up to leather it's ideal for quilters it weighs nine kilograms and there was an option to to buy it with a carry case but that carry case would have cost an extra 70 pound now, I bought this at the end, at the middle of February, and there was 37% off. That is a considerable saving. I've got a 60 day uh, money back uh, trial with it, and there's a two year warranty on it. Now, as I open it, it does feel familiar because I'm familiar with Singer machines. So uh, there's obviously a, uh, first of all, plug it in there's a foot pedal uh, down by my feet here uh the first thing i notice is there uh, there is a light that works on this my last one didn't but it does cast a shadow underneath here and here the only reason i can see this is because of the light from the phone so i think i'm going to add an additional light like i did before under here which are the led lights it's got an automatic threader. There's a presser foot attached that comes off. Uh, there is a there is a foot lowering lever here, which is new to me. Uh, there's a, a lock on it, and there's a start stop button. I think that I hope will help me a lot because that will give me uh, a few back stitches at the beginning and the end of all my sewing. What's different for me is the spool comes in at the top. I will need to thread it up, thread some bobbin and then check out the way to thread this up. And I've got to check the manual to see this. But so far, there's a simple on off button at the side. So far, so good. Let me check the manual, thread it up and then I'll come back and see. Right, adding the LED lights makes a difference to me because I've only got one overhead light and I'm always working in shadow. I have natural light coming behind me, but this makes a big difference. Now, one of the things I uh, did, I opened up the accessories pack and I've got spare needles and bobbins. I actually like a metal bobbin. Uh, there's uh, a brush, uh, an extra spool holder, two things I'm not sure what they are. Two pieces of felt to go under the cotton or the, the bobbin holder. It came with a button foot and eight presser feet. Now the presser foot that's on uh, obviously comes off very easily and uh, reapplies very easily. 
The first thing I noticed down here was I don't know how to get into the bobbin case. So that's new to me. And if you look really closely here, although this is a machine recommended for quilters, the first thing that I'm going to say is there's no quarter inch seam mark easily visible on it. This is a five eighths seam, which is what dressmakers use. Measure from the needle to a quarter of an inch might be this distance or I'm going to be using an awful lot of washi tape with this machine and Singer I have to tell you I I googled machines for quilters that's a fail for me on the first hurdle to get the extension table on you have to take out the front toolbox it now means that I can't access the access and change the bobbin spool and actually you really have to give it a good shove to get it on but this look is not flush at all this is floating in the breeze i'm not that impressed with that now this uh, extension cover is a piece of plastic and i think for the difference in buying it with the extension and not buying the extension was about 50 pound I would not recommend that you buy these extensions. When you look at the quality of the extensions of the old vintage wood ones, they're flush. Now, when I take this apart, I've got to give it a really good tug. And the other thing that's not flush here is when I, re when I replace the um, accessories case and I want to be doing free motion stitching, this isn't flush either. So this sticks up. Uh, there is nothing, there is no reason why that piece of plastic should not be flush. It's just bad engineering. The only way I'm going to get that flush is by holding that down with a piece of tape. For a £400 machine, I shouldn't be having to hold either this down or the extension table down so it's flush with a piece of tape. That's not impressive. Now, the other things I found uh, were problematic with this is I can't get the needle, automatic needle threader to thread. I will try it with different threads and the needles in a different position. The only way that I can see the display here is through the light on my camera. I would not call this an LED. There is no light lit up behind it. You cannot see these figures. If I switched off the phone with my camera, I can't see that at all. The only way I'm able to see it if, is if I use an additional uh, little lamp like this one and hold it. And it's like holding a torch. I have to say that the buttons are clear and will move beautifully. One is the pattern uh, of, the, of the stitch. The second is, this is a good thing, feature. There is a move it left and move it right to alter the stitch position. That's the, that's the position of the needle. There are 13 positions of the needle. I can move it to the left or the right. That's important for me getting a quarter inch seam. And I've changed it from the default 3.5 to 4.5. Sorry, my fingers are in the way here by using these left and right buttons. And that did the trick. I'm now happy with a quarter inch seam and I've been able to alter the stitch length up and down using these. It was on default on 2.5. I've altered it to two. I think my next option is 1.8. So that's pretty good. The tension is good. It sews uh, nicely. I'm going to show you the stitch. I've done the stitching in red so that you can see this forward and back uh, few reverse stitches um, I don't know that I'm keen on not being able to see my thread my thread is there and I actually think I prefer it here it does give me an option I think I'm going to move it to here I'm just used to being able to see uh, my thread uh, the bobbin then the threading of the bobbin you have to take this whole case off to get into the bobbin and it pulls down here uh, it was a bit fiddly, but I managed it okay. Um, I prefer a metal bobbin, which I'm using my own metal bobbins to the uh, cheap plastic ones that were provided. Uh, some of the tools included um, 
a screwdriver. I've got my old screwdrivers I'll hang on to as in addition to that to open these. I haven't learnt how to drop those feed dog yet and um, I've not yet experimented with the presser foot. Uh, sorry, let me try and get that back on. Yeah, it's not gone on straight, has it? There you are. So you see when that goes on, that's not flush at all. That should be that should be about an eighth of an inch lower. That is quite substantial when you're constantly moving your fabric through. I think that's going to be a bit of annoying. So there's a few things that I really like. Other things I'm disappointed with. Uh, the light, the automatic threader, uh, the inability to access the bobbin case, uh, the flush and the uh, extension table. Um, I think the jewellery's out. I'm going to have a play with it. I'm just trying it with some of the pattern stitches. And I have to say I'm very pleased with these so far. Look how neat they are. Uh, this is not a loud machine. This is doing it all just with the presser uh, foot. Sorry, with my foot on the pedal. Uh, that's not going to annoy the neighbours particularly, is it? So in that sense, that's good. Let me try a different stitch. I want to try one that's... I spotted one with... Um, looks like falling leaves. Oh, I can't see it now. All right, 56. So it's very easy to change it. Automatically, this changes stitch length. Right, so this changes pattern to autumn leaves falling, tumbling leaves. I'm not touching the fabric at all here. I've never had a machine that will do anything other than straight stitch and zigzag. Certainly not any satin stitches and certainly not any of these decorative stitches. So that's a very positive aspect of this machine. See if it's taking this fabric through straight. I might need to guide it a little. Right, and let's try one final change and we'll do a 43. So let's change it to. Of course, the more features you've got on the machines, the more there is likely for them to go wrong. So I'm always aware of that as well. I do like this red thread on linen. Definitely do some stitching with this. It'll be great for Christmas. It'll be nice for Valentine's Day coming up. Great for Christmas. I'll just get to the end of here and then we'll see what we've got. Just take a look at this. I'm very pleased with those. Um, look, doesn't that look like Christmas trees, falling leaves... Uh, this is a bit bunchy, but I've realised that my fabric was bunching and it needed guiding a little bit. The tension is great. It's very neat on the back. Uh, one feature on this I do have is just snipping the thread at the side here, which I think is very helpful. I keep reaching around the back for the up-down uh, lever and uh, it's actually on the inside here, which is new to me. So I'm going to have more of a play on this. And uh, and I'm going to try it with different cottons in it. I'm going to try it with different threads in it and on different fabrics. And um, I might do a separate video just to show you what I've found that this machine will do. How pretty is that? I really like that. Right, machine, the jewellery's out. I'm just getting, you and I are getting used to each other. What I will say is that I'm naming this machine after my mum. So this machine, the little singer starlet, is called Phyllis. And she's now in her new home. So welcome to your new home, Phyllis. You and I have got an awful lot of work to do. This is Maggie, the Cheshire crafter, saying, bye for now. Come back and see me soon, won't you? Ta-da!